Hi, my name is Rina. I'm a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. Um, this week, I want to talk about the ELISA effect. So, the ELISA effect is the human tendency to attribute human-like characteristics, such as emotion, to artificial intelligence and computer programs. So, who's ELISA? Well, Eliza was the first ever chatbot that was built in 1966. And as I was doing research for this video, I thought it was really interesting how this early chatbot actually tells us a lot about the AI today. So Eliza didn't have a face, a voice, or even color on its screen. It was just a blinking cursor and text. And it works through a really simple mechanism called a pattern matching and substitution system. So when a user typed something, then Eliza would scan the text for keywords or phrases stored in its script. For example, if you said, I feel sad, Eliza will find the keyword feel and reply, do you often feel sad or why do you feel that way? Even though this was pretty simple, it created the illusion of active listening. One of the most famous scripts for Eliza was called Doctor, where Eliza acted like a therapist. The user might say, I'm unhappy. And Eliza might respond, why do you say you're unhappy? Or how long have you felt this way? Now, it's easy to see just how much better chatbots um, have become. But what's interesting here is, in many ways, Eliza and modern chatbots like ChatGPT aren't as different as they seem. Both rely on patterns where the language model analyzes what you say, it looks for clues, and it generates responses that sound meaningful. Eliza did this with a few hundred lines of code, while ChatGPT does it with billions of parameters. Now, this does mean that the newer models sustain that illusion far longer and across more topics, which makes them powerful. But the principles are just the same. I hope this was interesting. I'll see you next week.